Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Irvin, with another anime review. Uh, this is going to be a short review, I guess. Uh, I watched 80% um, of this show. Uh, I gave it a chance. I had a uh, friend who recommended this. Uh, he said, hey, is your guilty pleasure High School DxD and uh, High School of the Dead? You're going to like this one. Demi... Uh, Daler, I believe, uh, Prince versus uh, Penguin Empire, I believe is what it's called. Um, yeah, no, I didn't like it. <laughs> uh, this one is not too old. It came out a few years ago, though the artwork and the animation to it, um, especially on their faces, looks like it was back from the 80s and 90s. That's how bad the artwork is now. Um uh, I'm not sure if this was on purpose or not, uh, or I'm not sure if people were trying to do something else with it, but from what I saw, that's the one thing that, that bothered me from the beginning. The other part to this one is it's definitely very highly uh, etchy oriented, very fan service oriented, and um, I didn't particularly like it. Um, basically, the guy needs to be uh, mm, turned on, essentially, to have... Uh, power and uh, he goes to extents to do all this stuff and it's very annoying it's very like repetitive every episode I, I won't lie it is funny in some in some episodes and I did laugh once or twice but overall this one was just too fan service based uh, the action was not that good um, it is a mecha style anime, and which is very surprising that a mecha style anime has a lot of fan service. But this one did, and uh, essentially the story is they're fighting uh, these uh, girls, and him are fighting this penguin empire. And uh, if you just see would see the penguin uh, soldiers, you would understand how ridiculous this anime is. And I'm pretty sure they were going with that. That they were going for. Man, this is so ridiculous that it's funny. Uh, but for me, it was a little bit too ridiculous. So I decided not to really even consider it even to finish it. Uh, I'm sure the ending is going to be some stupid ending. And if I do finish the last uh, one, two episodes that I'm left, uh, I'm pretty sure I would be disappointed. So anyways, overall, bad plot, bad characters, bad art, bad animation. The music was all right. Uh, there's no theme. There was no grasp to, uh, to for, for me to grab in any way for me to say, hey, this this is something good. So uh, out of 10, this is going to get a 2 out of 10. I do, do not recommend it at all to people. Uh, so if you want to watch something that has no point to it really and has a lot of fan service, this one's for you. Uh, if you are not looking for that, then completely avoid this one if you can. Uh, 2 out of 10 is my rating. Uh, what do you guys think? Am I being too harsh? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm I mean being too harsh to it. Uh, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Guys, I know some of you guys already noticed there's things missing in my background. That is because I am already packing stuff. Uh, I, I am moving and in less than a month so uh, my room was one the first room that I started packing stuff so you will be seeing uh, an empty wall eventually uh, for some of the videos but then you'll be able to see a nice background eventually again and uh, you'll see my the, the new place that I'm living in so thank you so much for watching my video guys and like always <laughs> don't be strangers <laughs>